A new wristwatch could revolutionise the way blood pressure is monitored. The device works by measuring pressure in the aorta, the largest artery in the body, and evidence suggests it provides a much more accurate reading than the traditional arm cuff. Well, researchers at the University of Leicester helped develop the technology and they say they hope it will be in use within the next few years. Here's Mike Cartwright. Inflating a cuff on an arm, how blood pressure has been taken for more than a century. Simple, convenient, but not accurate enough, say researchers at the University of Leicester. This wristband, they say, will revolutionise how it's done. What we've done is we've come up with a system whereby we still measure blood pressure in the arm, but in addition we take vital information from the pulse wave, which we capture with a simple device in the wrist, um, and using those two bits of information together, we've been able to develop a really novel method to calculate very accurately the pressure near the heart. And readings from around the heart are more reliable, so doctors say they can make better decisions about whether patients need treatment for high blood pressure or not. As part of their research here in Leicester, they've seen how blood pressure affects youngsters. They found that the readings from the arm can be much higher than readings from the heart. So accurate readings from a wristband like this can prevent unnecessary treatment. It's pretty reassuring. Um, they're saying sort of, you know, they can predict things now within your heart that's, um, that might happen in the future. So it's, in a way, that's kind of reassuring to know you're not at any risk um, when you've got healthy years ahead of you. It's a way of better defining what the pressure is at the business end of the circulation, the pressure that's causing damage to the heart, increasing the risk of stroke, etc. And the fact that we can measure this non-invasively, simply, I think is a very important advance. 3.4 million pounds from the Department of Health helped develop the technology. Its creators hope within a few years every doctor's surgery will have one. Mike Cartwright, BBC News, Leicester.